So we're here in Phillips Collection, and we're actually with Jason Phillips, whose parents started the whole collection. How did this come to be that you ended up doing an, a, sort of an art curation based on where your parents originally started? Absolutely. Well, I sort of fell into the business, not by choice. Uh, I think every by birth. By birth and ev everything in my life kind of drew me into it, but it's a fascinating business. So they would travel the world, find objects that resonated with them, bring them to the high point market to start with, right. and just created a business year after year, growing their customer base. And so is it is it uh, mainly pieces that are that are art pieces that, that you guys, so some of them are found, or are they pieces that they have artists create? A little bit of both. Right. And there's actually a few other layers to that equation. So we seek out one-of-a-kind objects, like our Origins collection, right. uh, Live Edge Tables, um, but on the other end, like the exactly, right. and, the, and the story behind us here. Right. Uh, but as well, we have standard line items Items designed by us and by artisans we find around the world. Cool. Yeah. And I know that in the last little while, fish have become really popular for you guys. Yes. That, that wall of fish. And how did that come Absolutely. to be? Absolutely. So we have a touch of whimsy at our company. We sometimes do things for shock value, uh, interesting finishes. So in that case, we have uh, about a dozen cast fish that are normally airbrushed in traditional colors, but we said, how would they look in silver, polished aluminum? Uh, what we thought was gonna be a one-trick pony actually turned into one of our best sellers that continues to sell well year after year. So from and that, we introduced larger-than-life Great Danes. We have a gold rhino head that's life-size. I mean, right. and expect more and more of that from us. Tied into a very sophisticated, organic, contemporary presentation. And how do you, I mean, not every, every group feels happy dealing with bunches of designers, but you're actually quite designer friendly. Yes, we are. So, and we don't seek out only superstar designers. We've got A-list designers all the way down to recent college graduates. We have hosted uh, student competitions where we actually produce the um, undergraduates design and cool. have them come out to the show. So we're about, is it a beautiful product and is there a great story behind it? And if that takes an army of artisans, if it takes just one artist, uh, we just go after items that resonate with us. Right. So you can essentially, uh, people come and you can buy, if you were a designer, you might buy one or two pieces, you wouldn't have to buy into the whole collection, is that right? Absolutely, yes. So it's a very easy um, opening order with Philips Collection because we want our products out there. Um, and we don't expect people to do their entire project with Philips, so it's the jewelry of the project. Right. Uh, but more and more we are bringing in items that hit price points where it can be a large part of the of the room, of the store, of the project. It's fantastic. And the nice thing is you can just come right in here and actually talk to Jason yourself. Thanks, Jason. Yes, thank you. Pleasure. Take care. Have okay. a good day. We're gonna walk around and have a good day.